What is a tangent line to a function? A tangent line to the function f of x at the point a comma f of a is a line that locally intersects or touches the curve at the point a comma f of a and has the same slope of the curve. The point a comma f of a is called the point of tangency. So looking at the graph below, the blue curve is given by the function f of x. The red line is tangent to the blue curve at the point one comma three. The point one comma three is the point of tangency. We say the red line locally intersects or touches the curve at the point one comma three because notice how it also intersects the curve at the point negative two comma zero, but this is not a point of tangency because the red line does not have the same slope of the blue curve at the point negative two comma zero. If we zoom in on the point of tangency, which you have down here on the right, we can see as we get closer and closer to the point one comma three, that the red tangent line does have the same slope as the blue curve at the point one comma three. A tangent line to f of x at x equals a is a linear approximation of f of x at the point a comma f of a. This becomes more clear, again, as we zoom into the point of tangency, which is shown here on the right, right around the point one comma three, the red line is a very good approximation for the curve, which is why we say the tangent line is a linear approximation of the function f of x at the point one comma three, as well as points very close to the point one comma three. The slope of a tangent line, which has the same slope of f of x at the point of tangency represents the instantaneous rate of change of the function at the point of tangency. And this is because a slope is a rate of change. The slope of the tangent line to f of x at a comma f of a is equal to the derivative function value f prime of a. And then finally, a function does not have a tangent line at points where the given function has discontinuity and where the graph of the function has a sharp corner or cusp. And we'll talk more about this later. And now let's take a look at several graphs and animate the tangent line. So here we have a quadratic function graphed in blue and the tangent line is in red. Again, the red line is tangent to the blue curve at the purple point. One thing you might also notice is that when the slope of the tangent line is negative, the function is decreasing, and when the slope of the tangent line is positive, the function is increasing. Here we have a cubic function where the red line is tangent to the curve at the purple point. And again, where the slope of the tangent line is negative, the function is decreasing, and where the slope of the tangent line is positive, the function is increasing. You may also notice that when the slope of the tangent line changes from negative to positive, we have a low point or relative minimum, and where the slope of the tangent line changes from positive to negative, we have a high point or a relative maximum. Let's take a look at one more. And if we pause here just for a moment, again, the point of tangency is the purple point and the red line is the tangent line. Notice how in this case, the tangent line intersects the function in several points. But again, the only point of tangency is this purple point where the red line touches the curve and has the same slope of the curve at that point. If you search online for Desmos tangent line, you can find this learning tool where you can actually change the function and animate the tangent line to any function that you wish. I hope you found this helpful.